guys, Kay Pisces here. I want to encourage you guys to like my Facebook page because there I'm going to be doing some of my Kay Pisces lives, okay? Impromptu readings. Uh, I'm going to be doing the lives on here on YouTube, but I might just stream it both at the same time. But I'm going to be doing live readings for everybody, impromptu. This could be any time. Any place, any day, like just when I feel like it, if I got time, I'll run you off a reading, no cards, just get ready because I'm going to tell you the truth. And I'm going to call my impromptu readings, I stay woke, okay, because I stay woke, y'all. I mean, <laughs> stay woke, okay, check out my Pisces video, I was talking about that. Anyway, so, thank you guys for always emailing me and telling me or messaging me, telling me you see me on TMZ. I'm on TMZ two or three times a month, usually. So, I mean, I guess if you want to look at that, look at that. But, thank you guys. I haven't been commenting everybody back because I'm over 14,000 now. So, it's really hard for me to try to get to everybody because y'all know, if you look back, I always try to comment everybody back. I try to get everybody back. And if I don't comment you back, you have your settings so that I can't comment you back or, or your, maybe your message is spam or whatever. But I try to comment everybody. But it's getting to be just a little too damn much. <laughs> but if I see something that really stands out. Or I'm really feeling like I have to say something to you at the time. Then I'll say something to you. Because a lot of times I'll just approve the comment. And I won't go back to it. And I'll forget about it child. And it'll be a whole other day. And another week and an hour. And I don't even know. Because I don't forget. But um, so thanks guys. Get ready for I Stay Woke. K Pisces. K Pisces Live. And get yourself ready for these free readings. <laughs> Alright y'all. Hey guys, Kate Pisces from KatePisces.com and I'm here with your October mid-month 2016. I say love edition, love scope, but y'all know it's gonna go anywhere on the on the mid-month because I just you know I just go with it. So um I also want to say to you guys, thanks for uh you know y'all like my little petite hat for October that I did and my little outfit. But I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm not wearing this because it's October. I'm wearing this because this is what I would wear any damn day of the week. <laughs> I mean, come on now. I'm not the crazy chick in the neighborhood. But I'm saying like this, like Renaissance and stuff like that. Like I wear this shit. I mean, I got the French Creole going all day. But I will say this. Um, this is what I love. I love this shit. I love this shit, y'all. Okay. All day or day. But then that's what you do when you have some decorum. Let's get it cracking. Capricorn. Capricorn, I feel like you're in the middle of doing something and you may have gotten afraid. Something spooked your ass. Okay, now, um, I kind of remember what your reading was. Something about you maybe making plans to go somewhere and get away from somebody, whatever, whatever. I mean, by all means. But I feel like something scared you and I see you sitting back down in your seat. Because what I, I see it as is musical chairs and when I, I feel that way I feel like you're just waiting for the right time to do something now I don't know if I told you this before but I just feel like you wait on the right time to do something and I feel like what's going on is that you're gonna get a window to make this move that you're gonna do and you're gonna jump out you're gonna jump out of this situation but you may some of you may be jumping back into something because I see you waiting on a sliver and then I see a sliver of what's the word I'm looking for uh an opening is what I'm trying to say because I see it as this This is what I see I see one of those giant ass like freight door like those long big giant sliding doors now I don't know if you ever saw like those apartments like in New York City whatever like if you have like a huge like loft up somewhere it'll be like a huge um, sliding door boom you know it's kind of like a, a factory apartment type thing and that's what I see you doing that's why I said a sliver because I saw like a little bit of the door crack crack you can get through, you know what I'm saying, Indiana Jones, you know what I mean, roll under the rock type of thing. Either you're going to use this to get in or out of a situation, but I think that it could be you sliding to a job, it could be you sliding out of a relationship, it could be you sliding to some money, it could be your ass just going home, honey. I mean, but I feel like you're waiting for the timing, the timing, you don't feel like the timing was right on something, and it was off. And I feel like this is what's going on with you, okay, so... It's coming up for you. I don't know why I see November 15th for some reason. So I don't know if that have any significance to you or maybe it's just something. But something about November 15th for caps. I don't know what that is y'all. So do you boo boo. So uh, Aquarius. Oh no, no, no. I have to do a love mafia for y'all. Oh my god. <laughs> mm -mm, I ain't doing that today. 
Love Mafia for Cap is Costa Nostra. So with Costa Nostra, I really feel like um what I hear is you making a unit out of something that you feel that this is the thing. I feel like no matter what it is that you're doing, you're trying to keep something together but in a different manner than you had it in before, okay? So if you're in a family and you're thinking about leaving a family, or if you're in a job and you feel like, it's just like you're trying to keep shit together, but at the same time, you're trying to move away from it. So whatever that means, y'all get that together. Aquarius. Aquarius, what is it? Mm. Aquarius. I hear something about you Okay, okay. I feel like some of you may have been trying to stay nice with somebody, whatever, but you feel like it's time for you to move forward with some other situation. I feel like maybe you were in the middle of something. It could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be anything, but I feel like you may have been over with something, but somebody may have come back and tried to convince you to come back in a situation, but you're like, mm, yeah, no, I'm cool. It's like you see what they're doing, but you're not saying anything, but you know what's going on. You see what they're doing. You see them trying to make you, like, kind of coax you into doing something, but you really just feeling like, eh, I don't know if this is right for me. You know what I'm saying? And I think that you are in the middle of, what's the word I'm looking for? Trying to twist something that it, so it'll work right for you, but at the same time, not damage everybody involved so whatever the hell that means so let's just do a love mafia for you aquarius mm -hmm. i did not get Costa nostra again i got Costa nostra i just got it for cap so i'm gonna tell you what it means for you hmm what i feel like it means for you okay okay so what i hear about aquarius is you being ahead of the pack I feel like you are, okay, so what I hear is some people not saying what they need to say. It's just like they're not saying what they need to say and you're just going to say it like, you know what, this is just what it is. Like, I don't want to be with you. This is it. We could be cool, but you're a little too close and I want to move forward with my life onto something else. And that's what I feel that Aquarius is going to be doing. Some of y'all, all right. I feel like some of y'all going to be moving forward to something else, something new, and something better than what you had before. But at the same time, you are feeling like you don't want to, you don't want to be mean, but you don't give a damn. It's just like, I don't give a, you care, but you don't, and you're not going to let yourself be tied into a box. That's what I feel, Aquarius. It's just like, you know what? I don't want to be with you. We can be cool, but if you don't want to be cool, okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. But I'm not going to sit here and kiss your ass and this is, you know, it's done. It's a done deal. We're not going to be together, so quit asking me. I want to move forward with somebody else or whatever. Like that kind of shit. Like, woohoo, raw, honey. But we'll just keep moving. So, Costa Nostra for Aquarius as well. Pisces. All right, y'all, let me think this through. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so Pisces, two things. I hear something about you being aware of something. Like somebody's asking you, are you aware that this is like this? And it's nothing that is a mover or a shaker. I feel like, okay, okay. Okay, so <laughs> you're gonna get some delight in some kind of reaction you're gonna get from somebody. Okay. So I hear positive or negative, you're going to get some kind of happiness out of how someone reacts to you in some kind of way. I think that you are, okay, I hear you turning heads. I hear you turning heads, Pisces. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm getting a lot, so let me just try to, let me just. So no matter what the situation is, you turn your heads. And I feel like what is going on, what I hear is a lot of flurry of 
information and a lot of um, what's the word I'm looking for a lot of movement a lot of information and a lot of plans and a lot of some things you're gonna be redoing and some things you're gonna be making final decisions about final decisions for now I don't think it's going to be like final decision until you know 85 years old, but I feel like it's final decisions for now. Just a lot of, um, I don't want to say planning, but I want to say you are, you're going to be like a go-to. So it's going to be a lot of go-to when it comes down to Pisces, okay? People coming to you. Okay, okay. So what I see is somebody, you know how you ever see, so say, some, say someone's putting a house together and what they do is, as they are, Picking out fabrics and stuff. And what I see is like a fabric maker coming to you. Do you like this? You like this? You like that? You like that? You're picking and choosing when it comes down to things that you want. And that's what I kind of feel about that. I could go on, but I just see a lot of people choosing you. So cho choosing, coming to you for you to make decisions about some things that are in your favor. That's what I want to say. Because I see somebody coming to you, trying to get you to pick out fabrics. For drapes, somebody coming to you wanting you to try to cheese. I love cheese, y'all. Try to cheese, you know what I'm saying? I just see somebody coming to you asking you to do these different things that are all for you to build up some sort of comfort for you in the future. Okay, so that's that. Let's do Love Mafia for you, Pisces. Mm -mm -mm. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, Pisces. A sit down so Pisces when I hear this sit down like I said somebody's gonna be talking to you somebody's gonna be coming to you somebody's gonna be wanting you to give them information on how it is to either best to help you to do something for you because I feel you're gonna get satisfaction out of whatever this is that comes to you I see you getting satisfaction out of this but I feel like somebody's gonna come to you people are gonna be coming to you asking you to choose this is yours which one do you want okay so let me leave that there. Um, Aries. Aries, what is it? <laughs> so Aries, what I see you doing is a bunch of lollipops, right? A bunch of suckers. Okay. So you, you're at this candy maker. And I see you tasting candy. And like, this ain't it. I don't want that. Mm, that's okay. No, I don't want that either. That you're tasting this candy. And you are putting the ones down. And you're putting some to the side on reserve. So I see you leaving two to the side to keep. And so possible ones that you may want later. Then I see you backing up, bagging up some stuff. Bagging up some candy. But then you leave some at the shop but they're, you're gonna come back for them for some reason. Like you got too much right now, you're coming back for it. Okay, so whatever that means. It could be a job, it could be something you're deciding to do, but I feel like it's more so like in a, in a kind of a romantic way, like you're trying to decide, it's like you have these options and you are, you're not, you're not you ain't done tasting is what I'm saying. You're not done tasting your options. You are still doing what you gotta do to you can still have the ones on reserve. Please, Aries, if you... Come on. Come on, Aries. Um, I hope that you ain't out here just, you know, breaking hearts and shit. You know what I'm saying? Get your life together. <laughs> but um, I just feel like um, there is some tasting going on, Aries. Mm. Love Mafia. Ooh, lay low. Honey, don't get caught. Just, I'm... I know I said to see y'all asses more than once don't get caught lay low maybe you should chill a little bit if you ain't worried about getting caught in the middle of some shit then do you boo boo you know what i'm saying but if you are be prepared <laughs> oh my favorite aries in the whole world <laughs> you know who you are okay taurus so let's see taurus what are you doing <sighs> okay so Taurus, what I hear this is for you. I feel like there is an emotional buildup. Okay. So what I see is some of you guys in a dressing room, and it's like you're trying on these clothes. What I see is a man, really. It's trying on like trying on tuxedos and stuff like that. And I feel like he's having these doubts. And I feel like it, it's almost like I'm just gonna say this, y'all. This sounds so crazy, but I see 
like someone who's passed like tapping you on the shoulder I see this older woman tapping the person on the shoulder like doing this to them you know so I don't know what the hell that's about so I don't want you trying on suits for honey male or female maybe you get ready to do something to go to some ball or something I don't know but I feel like it's somebody who's passed who is like you know no because I feel like you have all these wild feelings and all these emotions about some things and some of you guys are hoping for the best when it comes down to something which I mean you could try to make the best happen but if you don't have someone who's cooperating with what it is that you want to do then you're going to have a problem but that's just a whole other story y'all I can go on and on and on but y'all know I only got so much battery life on this thing <laughs> and I'm only at Taurus um I feel like um okay I feel like you're getting cues and you're getting, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Signs or these emotions. I just feel like somebody is urging you to change your decision or do something different. So, ooh, okay. Pay attention to what you're being told. Let me do a um, Love Mafia for Taurus. War. Okay. So what I kind of feel like this means, Taurus, is maybe you're at war with yourself about what it is you should do. Maybe people are telling you to do something and maybe you don't want to do it. Maybe you're telling yourself you want to do something and you don't want to do it. Maybe you're doing something for the wrong reason. I don't know. But I just feel like um, there's a tug of war when it comes down to the back and forth, up and down. Okay? Constant. All right. Gemini. So Gemini, what is it with you, honey? Gemini's. What is it with food today? I'm not even hungry. But Gemini, what I hear is the baker's dozen. Okay? Now, I don't know if that makes sense to any of you. But it's something about the baker's dozen. Now, that can mean a few things. Okay. I don't know what it is with food today, y'all. I'm not even hungry. I'm thinking about all these different, like, sweet things going on. I don't know what this is about. So, what I see you doing is you're gonna bake some shit okay and like one of those big giant industrial bakes baker like when a big industrial mixers okay somebody got self-rising flour versus regular white all-purpose flour for what it is that you want to do I feel like with the self-rising flour because I don't know if you've ever used self-rising flour but it you know it rises up like some people use use them for like salmon patties or whatever you use it to fry it with you know one side or the other and it just raises up you know what I'm saying it doesn't stay flat like regular flour it rises up hence the self rising and I feel like you may be putting something together and somebody ain't doing either the right thing or they're fucking up or whatever the hell they did or they're doing is just like I'm so frustrated with you why do I bother type thing I feel like you're trying okay okay so do not think about baking powder now if anybody knows anything about baking if you it's not like cooking regular food baking you have to have shit right or your food is fucked okay when you bake it has to be right and I hear something about the baking powder now the baking powder and the baking soda two different things two way different things and they do way different things okay and it's just somebody's fucking up trying to fuck up your recipe okay and I don't know if they're doing it purposely, but I feel like it's somebody fucking up your flavor and you need to get in there in the kitchen and do it your damn self. All right. So whatever that means to you, it could be a job. You might say, oh, boo boo, will you go get this job? You know, whatever, go get this interview for me or whatever. Don't wait on nobody else to do it for you. OK, do it your damn self. This is the case of. Do it. Or see it fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like do it yourself. OK. If you're trying to talk to somebody, do it yourself. Don't send nobody in front of you. No representatives, okay? No representatives. Do it your damn self. Don't wait on nobody else. Don't do it. The dog. Whoever it is who may be in your kitchen trying to stir up some shit, honey. They probably a dog. I'm just saying, watch who you got around you, okay? Don't trust nobody. Nobody, nobody, okay, for real. Some ain't right. Too many cooks in the kitchen. I don't know if you ever heard of that one. Too many cooks in the kitchen, honey. Fuck up your food. 
If you're in a relationship and there's a bunch of people involved, get them the fuck out. Don't let people get in the middle of your relationship. If you're going through this and this is your problem, get your life together. For real. <laughs> mm. What we got next? Cancer. Yeah, cancer. <sighs> cancer, what is it? So, cancer, what I see is people dancing around the maypole. But the Maypole celebration is not what I'm understanding. What I'm feeling about it is is the ribbon. Now, I don't know if you know about a Maypole. And if not, I mean, Google that shit. But it's something about people dancing around a Maypole. And somebody's going backwards on this Maypole. It's just like, bitch, we're supposed to be making a ribbon out of this thing. And why are you going backwards? It's just like something ain't right. Maybe you feel like a relationship is taking a turn for the worse. When I say that, I mean like it's going the wrong direction, okay? Maybe you feel like you want to go back when it comes down to a relationship, but I feel like you need to get your shit together. Just, you know, put that out there. But um, I feel like something you may be feeling is going backwards or it's not working right or you want to go back. It's, you're trying to make something, but it just ain't working out. It's not working out for you, I don't feel and if you could get these people to act right and do things or, go, or to get them to have things go your way, then you'd be much happier. But I don't think that somebody's giving a damn what it is that you're trying to say or do. I think they just don't give a fuck and they just want to... They're like they're purposely trying to screw up your picture. Like your, your ribbon. Look up the maypole, honey. I'm, I can't explain it no better. Just look it up. I'm sure you'll see it. Off the record. Now, when I say off the record here, I kind of feel like what this means for you is like that person that's going backwards or that person who's interfering in what it is that you want or interfering in what it is that you're doing knows what they're doing. They know they're interfering. They know what they're doing. They know what's going on. It's like they're doing it on purpose, but they're trying to act like they're not. Or if it's somebody you're dealing with and the relationship ain't progressing, it could be you or a cancer doing this to you. And it feels like it's not progressing, but it's still happening, but it's not going the right direction, but it's still in motion is what I feel. Lord, that is one hell of a situation. I hope you understand that. It's just, Cancer, stop and think about what it is that you want and what direction you want to go. And don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Because I feel like there's some confusion on which direction to go. Get your shit together. Mm, Leo. What is it with you? <laughs> so Leo, I feel like you don't give a damn. I see a canvas, I see you throwing paint on it. Now, when I think about a canvas and somebody throwing paint, I think about the artist is like, you know what, fuck this today. I'm about to make this $20,000 off this paint picture. I'm going to throw this paint and they better like this shit. It's kind of like you don't give a fuck and it's like a... This ain't going right and it's not going right for whatever reason it's not going right. But you know what? This is how I'm going to do. You need this. Okay, there it is. You ain't happy with it. Okay, well, what you want me to do? Because I already gave you what you need. Is you is you what? What a what a what? Like, you ain't happy with what I gave you? Okay, well, then that's just too bad. You know, like that kind of attitude. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> could be a job. You could be tired of people shit at the job. And just be like, you know what, go to hell. Oh, Leo. Nuovo. New. So, what does this new mean for you? Mm. Okay. Because I did see you do a new canvas, but I want to say this. Um, maybe you need to scrap that shit and start over. Just a suggestion. I'm saying, don't let nobody manipulate you. But I feel like you almost fed up, Leo. You just tired of people in this shit. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. No. Mm-mm. Virgo. Virgo, what is that? Mm. So, Virgo, your intuition is telling you something. It's telling you to go a certain direction when it comes down to something. I feel like what's going on is that you are... Fighting against what you really feel. 
in order to do oh okay you're fighting against what you feel in order to get something accomplished but I feel like you're really you really want you know you can make you know you're making a conscious decision to do whatever it is that you're planning to do or whatever it is that you've done I feel like you know it's a conscious decision and I feel like you feel like if there's something that you're getting into that you don't want to get into that you feel like within five years or less this thing will be done I feel like you are don't do something because somebody else wants you to do it. Do it because you want to do it. You know what I mean? If they don't understand that it ain't what you want or that ain't your steez or you ain't with it, then they need to just understand that. Because you putting yourself off of somebody, Virgo, is not the move. Okay? That ain't the move, baby. Okay? Your brain ain't broke. Okay? Don't act like it. So let's do this. Don't make a decision when, based on what somebody else needs versus what you really want to do. Don't do it because somebody else tells you to. Do it because you really in your heart want to do it. If you don't want to do it, don't wait till the last minute. Tell them ahead of time. Don't let don't don't have somebody thinking you want to do something you really don't want to do it, or you go forward in something that you don't want to do, and then you don't and you acting shitty with somebody because you didn't want to do this. Don't do that. Tell them straight up. This is not what I want. Straight up. Okay. Virgo, stand-up guy. Did I just do one for y'all? No, that was Leo. Stand-up guy. I really feel like what I said. You need to make a decision. You need to tell people what it is that you want or you don't want right now. Don't wait to the last minute to tell somebody that just ain't what you want or just not a decision you want. You doing it? I'm doing it just because of you. Don't do that. Okay? For real, for real. Like, you know, y'all, come on. I'm speaking to myself. I'm, I'm you know, I got that ascendant. So, I, I'm... I haven't had a situation come up yet, whatever it is that I'm talking about yet, but I'm sure it'll come up because <laughs> my predictions work for me too. So let's see. Libra, Libra. Okay, Libra, what is it? Libra. I see the words standing still. I feel like you are either paralyzed entrapped in a way of thinking or you feel restricted in some kind of way when it comes down to your home life where you are where you're gonna go the people around you I f okay so what I see is you in a box I feel like you live in a box you know hopefully metaphorically and I feel like you're put a restriction on yourself by the way you're thinking I feel like you need to broaden your horizons when it comes down to thinking as to understand a bigger picture versus the box that you're looking at inside of the box you know what I mean like okay I feel like there's some effects to that I don't know why I feel like it may be some people with like have mental health issues or something like that or or something they need to fix or something with health that you need to fix I don't know if it's like a, a some kind of head thing. I don't know what that's about. Or you could be making yourself sick about something. I'm going to need you to meditate. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you could be letting other people affect you. But I feel like it's all your decision. You know, like you can choose to turn away from things that upset you. Or... You can feed into it because I fit what I see is somebody sitting down in a diner. Okay, I see him sitting down in a diner, and I see it's somebody. Okay, so look over the table. It's like they're eating a sandwich and they got lettuce in it. Don't ask me the details. I'm just give details because I got Virgos in it, so you can get details for me. So I see somebody over across the way at a table. It's little kids and stuff. They're acting up. They're picking their nose and shit, and you completely disgusted by it, and it bothers you so much. But all you got to do is. Turn your damn head. You know what I mean? You ain't got to look at a little bastard over there picking up their nose and shit and all of that, you know? But you choose to do it. And I feel like if you're in a situation or you're living with somebody or whatever it is that you are not happy in the environment that you're in, then remove yourself, you know? And I think that's where you find elevation and health, better health. Okay? It's all a matter of control. All right? So... Love Mafia. Boop. The Dawn. So, somebody may come in 
and change your life completely. There may be somebody that comes and broadens your horizons, opens you up to more things. Maybe somebody that come talk to you and uplifts you. But I feel like you could transform yourself into this dawn or somebody could come around and help you. Okay. So Scorpio. Scorpio, so fatalistic. Do it or don't do it. In or out, up or down. Okay. But then Scorpio, oh, okay. So Scorpio, this is what I hear with y'all. This mess, this message will self-destruct. It makes me feel like y'all sneaking to do something, which is pretty cool, but you know, whatever. So are you doing something that you don't want to know about? Maybe it's something that is, um, I'm not going to say cliche, but I feel like maybe what's going on, you're making secret plans. Oh, did I hear the song Secret Lovers? Listen. Okay. Mm. If you're planning on taking a vacation with somebody or some kind of like weekend trip with somebody that you ain't really with, ooh, 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 honey, keep it on the DL. I'm sorry. There I go again with y'all. I just, I'm such a. Y'all bring out the the K, the regular fucking old K. But then I have Pluto in the first house, so that makes a lot of sense. But let's just keep going. I want y'all to. Think things through, okay? I don't feel like there's anything bad with you guys. I think y'all need to think things through before you do some things. Mm -mm -mm. Got the dawn for y'all. Just got the dawn for Libra. The dawn. Maybe with somebody coming in, sexy as all oh, hell, y'all. Ooh, 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 get that. <laughs> mm. Stop, Kay. Stop right now. Okay, anyway. Do you, boo boo. That's all I gotta say about that. Do what you gotta do, Sag. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, Sag. I said Sag. Maybe you're fucking with a Sag. I don't know, honey. But we're gonna keep it moving. The Dawn, Scorpio. All right, now Sagittarius. Mm. Sagittarius. What I hear is score. So Sagittarius, I feel like it's something gonna be coming around that you're gonna be that you've been wanting, you've been trying to do, you've been pushing for, and you finally gonna get it, honey. Clap, clap, amen, all that good stuff, Buddha, Buddha, all that. Okay, I feel like something's coming through. You done pushed, and I feel like something's coming through for you. Something is coming up. Something is coming around. I mean, you gonna walk up on something and be like, "Oop, there it is." I don't, what I see is somebody in the store with a with a shopping cart, and they going around looking for something that they've been wanting and they ain't had. They've been looking for it everywhere. It's like, "Fuck, I'm at the last store. I don't. I need it right now. I can't go without. I need to have this. I need to do this before I get home." And I see you going around frantic through the store, but you get and you look. You just happen to look over. <gasps> There it is. And then it's just like the satisfaction that you get. So whether that comes with relationship, money, or whatever, y'all. Sleep with the fishes. I feel like the sleep with the fishes has a lot to do with the attitude that you have. And also with you, this thing that you've been wanting and you think you couldn't get is hidden. And I feel like it's in there and you will see it. You think it was gone and over with, honey. You thought it was uh, dang dead, okay? <laughs> but it wasn't. It was just hidden where you didn't see it. Maybe you should ask the Pisces for some advice. Sleep with the fishes. Maybe the fishes will help you, honey. Mm. All right, y'all. I don't know. K Pisces from kpisces.com. Check me out for a tall and no holes bar reading. No lies, no lies, no lies, honey. You want lies? Look in the mirror because I ain't got nan for ya. All right, y'all.